Captain David Zanaboni with Santa Barbara County Fire was one of the first public information officers at the fire, and he joins us live by phone on what is day four of the Sherpa Fire. Dave, do you feel it being any different today? Uh, well, Tracy, it was, it was a calm day today. Um, we had good, you know, calm winds, so it allowed our crews to get in there as they have every day um, and really work on more containment lines. The We're, images, you know, while you're talking, we're saying, watching the drops, and you're right underneath those drops. What is that like? Well, um, you know, the, the retardant drops are, are they're helping the firefighters on the ground, what they're doing. They're, they're trying to get a, create a line of um, defense for the firefighters and for preventing that fire from spreading. Our main concern right now is that eastern edge of the fire, which is, you know, it's really inaccessible for crews to get in there. So we're really relying on the uh, helicopters and the uh, tanker drops to um, help create a buffer up there and, and create a line uh, to, you know, prepare for this upcoming weather that we have. As you know, we're in, uh, starting tomorrow night at 5 p.m. through Tuesday, we're in a red flag alert on the, in the entire south coast. So, um, you know, those are expected lower humidities, higher winds, and um, increased you. Thank you, Captain David Zanaboni. We run out of time with you, but we will be in touch throughout the day, the night, the week. We appreciate what you're doing. As that